Hello Linux fans, Rob here and welcome to Linux Quest and today we've got a look at Open To Do List which has made the featured app video list for Linux Quest. So let's pop over to the Flat Hub site where this is hosted. There's also a snap and we'll just talk about what Open To Do List is. Well it's your typical to-do list, task management and note-taking application. Now this particular app is cross-platform. It's available for Linux, Mac OS, and Windows, as well as, surprise, Android. I installed the APK that you can download, and it popped right up as it should. It uh, mimics the desktop app as close as you can find for, uh, you know, for a phone app, and quite pleased with it. I did not see a widget, or have not found a widget, that you can place on your home screen or whatever. Uh, so just be aware of that, but everything else seemed to work just fine. You can also synchronize out of the box with NextCloud, OwnCloud, and other WebDAV servers. So if you have Microsoft Exchange set up via web, WebDAV, it should sync with that. Now, uh, they go on to say that you can use sync clients of your choice to synchronize with arbitrary services. I'll have to dig further into that. You can schedule items by setting due dates. And I'll pick on that a little bit. There's some room for improvement, and we'll take a look at that as we dig into the app. You can also use Markdown in these titles and or for the for the item titles and descriptions to format your text. Uh, this is version 3.15, uh, last updated September 7th, 2019. So it's been you know fairly recently updated. All right, so let's jump over and take a look at things. Now I went ahead and set up a library here called Personal. Uh, but what you'll be greeted with when you first launch into the app is for you to create a new library. And during that prompt, you'll get the option of setting up NextCloud, OwnCloud, WebDAV, or a local library. In this case, we're going to go ahead and go with the local library. We'll click OK, and it will prompt you for library name. So we'll go to work for this library. Now you can create the library in the default location or choose other locations. Uh, so we'll go ahead and hit create. Now we don't have anything in our library so down here you can add a new note, a to-do list, or an image. Once you've done that you've got some additional options. Right now you'll see that you could edit the name of this library, search in the library, or delete from here. Uh, if you had sync set up you could go into edit your sync settings, sync now, or look at the sync log. So first up, let's go ahead and create a new to-do list. So the first prompt you'll get there is for a name for your to-do list. So we'll call this test task list, if I could type today. All right, and so you'll see that pop up in a small form. And when you click on that, you will have some additional options that pop up here. Uh, so the first option is you could edit the title if you weren't happy or you mistyped, for example. You can also change the background color. So we could change, in this case, we'll change this to blue. And not only does this change the background edit field, but it also changes the color of the actual to-do list or task list. Then from there, you could add a tag, and I've added one here previously, just called it fun. So you could select a tag or add a new tag if you like and then you can also add documents as an attachment or photos to this particular task list which is quite handy. You can search and you have multiple search terms that you could search by and then here you can add a reminder if you will. Now this is where I wish they would give you the option for a set time as opposed to just that particular date for a reminder of the task and maybe that could be added in future releases. So from here I'm going to go ahead and choose for October 2nd. Hard to believe that we're already almost into October. So we'll go ahead and click OK and now that's going to pop up. Now I chose October the 2nd. I've noticed this. For whatever reason the, uh, the date changes to the day before whatever you choose. So if I had chosen the third, it would actually show up on the first. And I guess maybe it's going to pop up a reminder the day before is set by default so that I know that, hey, on the second, this, this task list needs to be checked off. And then from there, you could delete if you just messed up the entire ta uh, task list, I guess. All right, so from here, you're going to give your note. If you wanted to add a note, you're going to give it a title. 
So we'll select that. This is a test. All right. And we'll hit the check mark there. And now we're going to add our to do's. Now, if you were doing a note, it would just be a simple note. But in this case, we've got a list of to do's. So to do one, enter. To do two, enter. And so on. Enter. Now, you've got your list of to do's, which you can check off as they are done. So we'll go to number one here, and then as they're completed, you'll see this pop up here, or you can toggle that off, your choice. So, you know, pretty complete. Uh, it's simple, straightforward. Uh, we'll go ahead and hit back here and, and clean. I guess if you've used Microsoft uh, To Do, maybe you're a Microsoft Windows user, and you've tried out their To Do app, this is pretty similar to that and it's also similar in structure and UI to a lot of the Android or iOS to do apps which is a good thing uh, because you can find your way around quickly all right let's add another one here real fast we'll we'll add an image in this case and I'm gonna add the image of a robot here and kind of the same thing once you've added your image you can then go in and edit the title um, you could change the background color if you so choose. Add a tag. So let's go ahead and add photo tag. And um, so then you could go in and quickly anything you've tagged with photos within this particular library. So if you're working with impersonal, you'd have to add that same tag. I do believe. Actually, let's try it. Let's go in and add a new note. Test note two. And so we'll go ahead and add that. Now let's see if that tag is an option. So now we have fun. Okay, so yep, that's what I thought. So each library will have their own series of tags. So you would not find this photo tag under work, or excuse me, under personal because we added that under the work library. So they have individual tags per library there. All right, we'll go ahead and add a new color to this as well. Well, hopefully that gives you an idea. I just think this is a, a very well designed and put together app. Wanted to feature this and share this with you. I'd love to hear from you if you give this a try, like like your feedback, especially if you've got it. Maybe you're a, an own cloud user or, or you've got it set up under WebDAV. I'd love to know how the syncing works. I just haven't gotten any of that set up on my side. So I'd love to have some feedback if you give this a try. Well, as always, thanks for watching and we will check you later.